subscribe, ring the notification bell, and leave a comment down below. Hi. What's your name? My name is Tyler. First of all, I love your shoes so much. Thank you. <laughs> How old are you, Tyler? I'm 11 years old. So it looks like you have the violin. When did you yes. start playing violin? Well, I started playing the violin when I was seven and a half. And what made you get into playing violin? Um, I wanted to start playing the violin because I was being bullied in school. Oh. Oh, man. It's because I had cancer. I almost died. The doctors came in and said, yeah, he does have cancer. And uh, it was the worst day of my life. They used to make fun of me and laugh at me because I was different. They would spread rumors to say that um, my cancer was contagious and they all wanted to stay away from me. One day, Tyler saw a flyer at his school and it said, after school program, free violin lessons. I just didn't want to be the kid with cancer. So now I'm the kid who plays the violin. You got this, we're rooting for you. By the way, before I start, how are you feeling now? I'm feeling really proud of myself. Oh. Whoa. And if you don't mind me asking, Tyler, how is your health now? Well, I've been in remission for almost four years. You know what, you are an extraordinary young man. We hear too many stories about people being bullied, but I can tell you one thing, most people are bullied because they're better than the people who bully them. You know that. And I think you have such an amazing talent, such a personality, and I would like to say something on your behalf to the bullies.
your name? My name's Kyle Tomlinson. Nice to meet you, Kyle. Nice to meet you too. Where are you from, my darling? Sheffield. Sheffield! And how old are you? I'm 15. OK, Kyle, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm sorry, I'm really nervous. I can tell, that's OK. Take your time. It's all right. Um, well, I came a couple of years ago and I got told to get a singing teacher and... Who told you that? David? Yeah. Me? Oh, OK. <laughs> that doesn't sound like the kind of sensible thing I'd say. <laughs> Was it said it quite harshly? Yeah. Really? And, Kyle, how old were you when he said that to you? Twelve. Oh. Twelve? Boo! Yeah, boo, boo, boo. Well, I'm shocked. So, presumably, for the last couple of years, you've been working with a teacher. Yeah. And you're feeling more confident now. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do you need a little sip of water or something before you start? David, David, David. Don't Too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. You can try everything you can to be nice now. What did the you others say? Nice what did the others say? They were right nice. Were they? <laughs> well, I was the... I this was, is strange. I was the mean one. Yeah. I'm the only nice one here. Oh, that's a lie. By the way, we're sure. here to support you, Carl, so good luck. Here's your chance to Thank prove you. David's wrong. <laughs> what did I say? Luck, Thank you. Come on, son. You can do it. Seeking court, David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do ya? Well, it goes like this the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major league, the baffle king, compassion, hallelujah. Sounds great, don't you? There, you put your heart and soul on the line, and we all felt it, and we were all there with you. That was brilliant. You know, this just shows you, Kyle, when someone grinds you down and says, you're not good enough, you come back, and you come back and look them in the eye, and you go, I am good enough. Thank you. David, what did you think? I thought it was really good. Thank 
Well done. And you know what? You've sung with real passion. And that's what it's all about. Well done. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. You gave every single ounce you could possibly give to that performance. Well done. Well done, Kyle. It was a really, really moving performance, and I'm really glad you came back and proved me wrong. Thank you. <laughs>
Okay. Do you? I'm gonna say it. It's disgusting. You make me sick. It's absolutely disgusting. You have no identity. I can't stand it. I'm ashamed to be here. I think I look really good. And I think you I look good care. because you're dressed as my husband. Mm. Actually, 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 no. actually, actually, you're dressed better than her husband. Thank you, Mel. Thank you, Mel. Actually, Mel needs glasses. I'm not being so well behaved. Mel? Do you know what, Joe? I don't think many people have believed in you in your life, but I'll tell you right now, I believe in you. Thank you, Mel. Thank you, what it takes. Well, You've got a beautiful tone. Please, <clears throat> don't listen. Uh, thank you to our judges. And look, it, it really sounds like this crowd is behind you, Joe, right? Did it feel good? It felt amazing. Keep it together, thank baby. you, everyone. My name is Amanda LeCount. And where are you from? I was born in Fort Collins, Colorado, and I now live in Los Angeles. So what are you going to show us tonight? I'm going to dance. You're going to dance? Yes. Great. We need some dancers today. Yeah. Sorry. Hi. I'm already crying. I represent the people that feel like they're not heard or they're not seen. I want to help make them feel beautiful and powerful because I'm really lucky that I had a mom that did that for me. Tell me why you decided to come on AGT. I've been told my whole life I'm too big to dance and I don't have the right body type Who to be a professional. That? Um, anyone you can think of. I've had strangers, right, we'll tell parents. them to shut up. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> right. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy for you that you're here. You're following your dreams. So show us what you can do. OK. Woo! Right, here it is. Wonderful. I think you're a wonderful person and you can move and you're athletic. You, you inspire people who maybe don't fit the mold. You're great, but I don't know that I would go see a whole show of you doing that. I don't know that it's spectacular enough to make it on this stage. Are you kidding me? Heidi. I also think you're a great dancer. I also love your vibe, your spirit, your energy. It definitely got me also bumping in my seat. I just don't think it's a million dollar act. I'm sorry. And you, Simon? I'm going to be honest with you. For me, I loved every moment of the audition. Your joy and enthusiasm was so contagious. You're memorable. Look, this is why we have four different people on, on a panel. We all have, honestly, different opinions. I'm gonna remember you, and I'd like to see where you could progress. Thank you. So can I be the first to kick this off with a definite 
Yes. Stay here. Yes, from Simon. Heidi, it's gonna be enough for me. I'm sorry. Sophia. It's easy. I don't have to think it. I want to see you again. Yes. Thank you. Howie. I don't know that it can win the show. I don't think so. I don't think it's worthy of it. Come on! Okay. I'm going to listen to them and not to myself. I'm giving you their yes. Thank you. You can't stand an ovation for like 2,000 people. Right, now you just got to think in your head the future, what's yes. next, what's next. Right? Yes. Thank you. I'm Brian Justin Crum, I'm 28, I'm a singer and I drive for a car service. Growing up, I was just so happy. I loved to sing, I would dance down the hallways. But you know, I had a lot of hard times at school. That won't scare me away. I was overweight. And I definitely knew from the time I was six or seven that I was gay. That brought a lot of bullying my way. In elementary school, they would whisper behind his back that he was gay. More middle school, high school, it was he'd walk by and someone would just call him a faggot. That was really hard for him for that to happen. I used to fall on my knees and pray for him. <laughs> That's what it was like. Built your wall so high that no one could climb it. I thought, you know, maybe these kids are right about me. Maybe I am just like worthless. But my mom believed in me and gave me the confidence to be who I am. When you were here before.
Every time we've seen you, you've put on a performance, which for me is exciting. But it's actually quite breathtaking. To go from that big to then that small at the end of the song is genius in my eyes. I think you're one of the best singers we have on the show this season. You said that you want people to feel, but to choose a song and to sing it and to make people feel, and we, I, I think we all feel like we're creep and we're weirdos and we're different and I, you know, suffer from mental health issues and we always feel alone and then we find out we're not and we all belong here and it makes the world. And that was a wonderfully moving rendition. Perfect. That's all. Thank you. And where are you from, Alan? I was born in Brazil. Oh. But I'm proud to be an American citizen, so. Oh. Yeah. Awesome. I come from a circus family, so I love to perform, but, but people always told me that I should just be a clown because, yeah, because of my size. Oh. I've been bullied my entire life, and people judge me for my appearance, so I'm a little bit nervous about that, too. Don't so. be nervous about that here. <laughs> so, who are you here with today? I have my wife here with me, and my son and my daughter, and Aww. it's the uh, first time that they actually see me perform. So They've never seen you perform before. Yeah. Wow. Hi. <laughs> oh, they're I adorable. I see them. And why did you decide to come to AGT? I saw what AGT actually did to my brother a couple years ago. Who's your brother? Uh, he's Alfredo from Deadly Games. That's your brother? Do you know what? I knew you were going to say that. How did you know that? Because they look alike. <laughs> it's in the audience. <laughs>
thought that was the performance of a giant. It was unbelievable. Thank you. You are without question the best act we've seen all day long. So let's vote. So I'm going to start off the voting with a yes. Eric? Yes. Sophia? Yes. You now have four very, very well-deserved yeses. Four yeses. What's happened to me? <laughs> oh, you're funny. Oh, yeah. That was beautiful. <laughs> it's not about her. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What is your name? I'm Caitlin. And how old are you? I'm 18. And Caitlin, who are you here with? My mum and dad. I live at home. We're all a really, really close family. We do absolutely everything together. Caitlin's a real daddy's girl. Um, two of them are really, really close. Caitlin always sang from a very early age um, and just has always been a love of her life to sing. I took part in school talent shows and then I started doing like my own videos on social media and stuff. I started to get a little bit of negative comments from people at school. And it got to a point where I didn't want to keep singing anymore. I always used to go home like crying most days. It just really gets to you, like you don't know why you listen to all that. Like, my dad just was like, stop this. You are good enough, which kind of boosted my confidence a bit. It was a difficult time at a point, but she's, she's got through that now, and I think it's actually made her a stronger person yeah. for it. Oh. It's, it's a huge thing for Caitlin today to be here, huge. What would it mean to you if you got through today? I've had a lot of knockbacks with at school. I got bullied quite a lot, and sorry, my dad used to always tell me like to keep going, and so did my mum, so today I want to make them proud. Why were they bullying you? They just didn't really take from my singing, but hopefully you guys do. <laughs> hopefully we do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sing your heart out. Thank you. And all I remember is your bed. Walking towards the airport, leaving us all in your I travel 1,500 miles to see you. Begged you to want me, but you didn't want to. But piece by piece, he collected me up off the ground where you abandoned things. Yeah, piece by piece, he filled up. That you burned in me at six years old And you know he never walks away He never asks for money He takes care of me He loves me piece by piece He restored my faith That a man could be kind And a father could stand That a man could be kind And a father should be great Oh, she went and done it She went and done it I don't want to cry Excuse me, Thank you That was... That was all right. You're a force to be reckoned with. I never like cry about this stuff and it's not even about me, but when you're talking about your parents and- That song was for like my dad like picking me up when I was down and stuff. So that's why yeah. I kind of did it to you. 
I have the same thing. Like, my parents, I don't ever talk about them, but I'm nothing without them. So just related to you on that level. So anyways, you are awesome. Thank you so much. Caitlin, I think 15 years ago, I was on a show in America, and a girl came in and told me she wanted to be a star and hadn't had a break. And her name was Kelly Clarkson. And then she went on to win American Idol. For a moment there, when I heard you singing the song, it was like going back 15 years. I think you're the best singer we've had. There's something about you, you just won us all over, I think. Thank you so much. But we have to vote. Louis. Caitlin, I'm saying yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Nick. It's a yes from me. Thank you. You've got three yeses. <laughs> I have to say something. Do you know why sometimes people get bullied? It's because they're good. Because you're good. Thank you so much. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Well done, you. Well done. Thank you so much. Bye. And that's why we make the show. What's up? Who are you? My name is Tristan Grubbs. I am 15 years old from Columbus, Ohio. All right. Well, singing in Ohio. Yep. Are you in a musical family or what? No, actually, all my brothers and sisters play sports. Grew up on a foot. I grew up on a football field. Actually, I was the only one out of the siblings that sings. That's when the bullying really started getting aggressive. People were, you know, saying, why did you embarrass yourself? I was getting shoved into brick walls, told to kill myself, um, and told that I wasn't going to be good enough for music at all. So before you go... We want to give you good news. You're going to sing for Katie, Luke, and Lionel. I still feel that, you know, maybe these people are right. Maybe I am not going to be whoever I want to be. And maybe I should just start go playing sports like everyone else. They're gonna lie here are the words that I needed to say When you hurt under the surface Like troubled water running cold Well, time can heal but this won't right. What do you think, Luke? Well, I, I, I have a little concern with your lack of confidence I just think it's not quite up to what American Idol is. Lionel? Fear can be your worst enemy. I just want you to get a little bit more confidence in your head. As far as your tone and everything, I think you got something in there. Can we hear another one? What would be your second song? Um, whew. Um, Nobody by James Arthur. Let me hear that. <clears throat>
thank you. Thank you. I have to tell you something. You bring that attitude with that vocal style to this table, we've got fireworks. Thank you. Yeah, my, my only advice is get your confidence really dialed in and just show up and sing. That's exactly <laughs> Show up exactly. and sing. Listen, if you decide to believe in yourself like you did in that last 20 seconds, Ooh. it could be something real cool. It's a yes for me. Thank you. If you lean forward on this, it's been an incredible ride for you. Thank you. You're going to I'm Rebecca Black, I'm 20 years old, and I'm from Anaheim, California. As a kid, I just loved music. I was in every musical theater program. I was taking piano lessons and dancing, and it was like, okay, what can I do to just have this in my life more? So when I was 13, my parents found this company that would provide me with a song and film a music video. That song was Friday. I got to come up to LA with all my friends. It was just such a cool experience. And I was like, okay, this was fun. This was something creative for me to do over Christmas break. After it went on the internet, it literally blew up in the blink of an eye. The song should be banned. My ears are bleeding. Congrats on your three million dislikes. I can only imagine how being Rebecca Black would be right now. The hate comments were everywhere. Cringe the whole time. No one can prep you for that kind of a thing. There is something so brutal when you're 13 about people telling you that you don't belong here. Don't there was definitely a moment where I got really close to giving up on my music. Just be but like, just you should never let anyone tell you that what you love to do is wrong. It feels weird to say that this is redemption because I'm 20, but I'm here to get a chair and I am ready to show everyone who has doubted me, who has left all those comments that I do deserve to be here and I'm ready to take on the floor. It's Rebecca Black. Do you know Rebecca Black? No, I don't. Will you please tell them your legendary story? So when I was 13, I had a song called Friday. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. It's big. Oh, Friday. Yeah. And uh, there were so many cool things that came out of it, yeah. but it also gave me a lot of setbacks because there were tons of people who didn't love it. I feel like you overcame the ultimate cyberbullying and now you're just like this beautiful goddess out here. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, they were coming at her. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Sing, have fun. Okay, take it away. Thanks so much. <laughs> yo, yo. You don't know. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna go to Megan. Yes, girl. Tell them. Tell them you're grown now. Oh my goodness. Right. Good job. She's not 13 anymore. You are not 13. <laughs> I just got so many chills because that was the perfect song. I was just like, tell all the haters, bye, bye, bye. It was so good. <laughs> Khaled. Bless up, bless up. Basically, you know, some people call haters, I call them they. We stay away from they. All the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, they don't want us to win, so we're going to win a lot more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's the energy I'm getting. You try to tell me they try to front on her early? Oh, when she was 13, a child. So they try to front on her early, yes. so they play themselves. They play themselves. <laughs> That's my baby girl. Diddy. When you're following your dream, there's a journey that you have to go through. Everybody's journey is different. I remember Muhammad Ali said, knock me down seven times, I get up eight. I don't know if I could put you through, I'm gonna be honest, but don't never stop, don't never stop. Uh, I love her. Let's get it. It's time for our panel to vote. They will decide if you earn the opportunity to challenge one of the four for their seat. Remember, in order to challenge one of the four, you'll need all three rings to turn blue. Panel, please vote now. The verdict is in. Let's see if the panel thinks you deserve to challenge one of the four. My name's Jack Vigeon, I'm 22, and I'm from yes, Sydney, yes, Australia. Yes, yes. <laughs> do you normally get this reaction when you do perform? George, he's like very well known here. Oh, you're, you're yeah. Oh, okay. He's got talent. Any 14 year old would want that. Like, it was crazy. But I just don't think I knew the effect it was having at the time. When I was at about 16, I ended up going over to the States for about a year by myself. Uh huh. Um, I went over there. Oh, no. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you loved our compilation and let us know who some of your favorites are that we should feature in a compilation next. We'd love your feedback. While you're on YouTube, you should hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. This way you know each time we post a new video. Also, follow Talent Recap on all social medias. I'm talking Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's a good time. Plus, head over to talentrecap.com because we have all the scoop on talent shows that you won't want to miss. Hey y'all, if you're still here, either you're a hardcore fan or you have nothing else to do. Either ways, stick around. Now let me tell you a secret. You already know about, about our YouTube channel because duh, you're right here. But we also have a website with millions of visitors. It's the only website exclusively dedicated to reality TV competition shows called talentrecap.com. My name is Murganka and I'm the managing editor of talentrecap.com. My job is to work with other writers to make sure that we get you all exclusive content related to talent shows. Also, inside scoop on the judges, exclusive interviews, polls, newsletters, and fun quizzes. Now, if that sounds like your kind of thing, come visit us at talentrecap.com. Hi, I'm Samantha, and while you're still here, let me quickly tell you about our weekly talent recap show that I am one of the hosts of. Each week, two hosts sit down and discuss our favorite moments from reality talent competition shows. Think of it as a sports after show for talent competitions.
We discuss the illuminations, talk about predictions for the next week, and we also talk about some of our favorite acts. It's a fun and exciting way to... This video's over and I didn't expect you to still be here, but since you are, let's talk more about Talent Recap and what I do here. My name is Summer Monet and I am a host for Talent Recap What's Hot. This segment is designed to take a deeper look at our favorite contestants, favorite moments, and our favorite celebrity judges. If there's any drama or controversy, you bet that we will give you the full scoop. Let me tell you some examples. All the winners of America's Got Talent, where are they now? How much money do these judges make? All the women Simon Cowell dated. And trust me, there's a lot of them and so on. I love talking to you guys, reading your feedback and your comments, so please keep them coming. I am Summer Monet, and now you know what's hot. Oh, what are you still doing here? But wait, since you've stuck around this long, hi, I'm Kayla, and I'm the Director of Video Content here at Talent Recap. I work behind the scenes, managing our YouTube channel and editing all of our videos. At Talent Recap, we create fun and engaging videos on all of our favorite talent shows, including America's Got Talent, American Idol, The Voice, The Masked Singer, and so much more by the fans, for the fans. I personally am a huge fan of these shows, but I want to know, what are some of your favorite shows? We love to get feedback from our fans, and we love talking to you guys. Now you may have seen our talent recap show, or perhaps it was Cody Lee's unforgettable audition that caught your eye. But we've got other segments that you've got to check out, like What's Hot, Talent Reactions, Top Acts, and Red Carpet Interviews. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the notification bell so that you will be notified every time we upload a video. I'm Samantha. I'm Summer Monet. I'm Kayla. And that, and that's, and that's our talent recap. Hey you, stop swiping on dating apps and start swiping through Talent Recap's playlists. We've got compilations, we've got red carpet interviews, what's hot videos, and recap shows. And I think it's time we take our relationship to the next level. I'm talking hit that subscribe button right now. No, I'm totally kidding. Well, I'm not kidding. You should still subscribe so you're up to date on all of our latest content. And thanks for watching.